Good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England where it was a humdinger of a winter and I am so grateful to have the light back and to be out in the garden again. I'm starting to harden off some plants today. Going to clean out the greenhouse and let's get to it. It's a little overcast today. So I think I'm going to take advantage of the basement bulkhead and put some of my coal crops over there. I've got the plants that have been under the lights and they are just screaming to be up potted and come outside and have a good play. I'm gonna put them on the bulkhead for a few hours and start that hardening off process. Here we go, here we go. Oh my God. Go my chard bolted. Oh. For the love of Pete, I started these beans way too early and the chard my poor sweet chard over there is starting to bolt already because she was too close to the lights um and the hops are also kind of on a mission to go someplace else but overall not too terrible for our first year trying out these lights so hopefully a whole bunch of these can go in the ground by next saturday um because man they hate it out here. Also, I'm gonna get some of these ready to go into the greenhouse so they'll have more room to climb upwards. So many maple sprouts. All oh, this periwinkle coming up. Weeds coming back. Gonna have to come through here with the mower. Planted out these boxes about, I wanna say two weeks ago, maybe a week ago, maybe a week ago, and nothing yet, nothing much going on in here, but hopefully we will start to see beets soon. I'll tell you what, the garlic is looking really good. Come, let me show you. So this is all garlic that we sowed back in November and it just looks so good. Super excited about this. The arugula is coming back for another round. Honestly, after last year's tomatillo incident, I was expecting a whole bunch of volunteers down here. Nothing yet. All right, I put in leeks about two weeks ago. And at the same time, I put in some Weathersford red onions. And the rest of this is kind of a mess. Um, haven't really started with a whole lot yet. We put in, we put in this trellis. Right now I've got peas direct sown beneath it. And I'm gonna put tomatoes on the outsides. So the peas are on the insides and the tomatoes are gonna go on the outsides. Or I might have put peas on both sides. Anyway, the tomatoes are gonna use them after the peas are done. And on this trellis, which you'll see is, we added another panel to it. We took out the panel that was over there and brought it to the middle and hilarity ensued. That one I have planted on both sides with tall telephone pole peas. I think we may have brought home a pet. A pet? A pet. What kind of pet? Uh, a mouse, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh. That's quite a hole. Is anybody moving in there? No one moving. 
Maybe they got out while the going was good. Some mouse poops, but no, no mouse. Okay. Huh? All the way down in here. Oh my goodness. Ah. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> listen, if there, if there are any mice in there, the chickens are going to make short work of them. <laughs> Okay, fine. Let's talk about it. So, might have planted the radishes kind of thick. And kind of did the same for the lettuce. This is little gem lettuce over here. So, clearly I'm going to have to thin um, at some point. That point is not today, and I'm okay with it. These folks... These radishes, I don't know what the uh, the protocol is on them, so I'm gonna have to ask around and look on the internet. This place, though. Oh, honey, she needs some love. So we're gonna get down to cleaning this business out today. Bill's gonna give me a hand with this because I am ridiculously allergic to spiders. He is not. Um, and I've definitely seen some spiders in there, so. Yay, thanks, Bill. So as it turns out, we did evict a number of spiders out of here. Um, they were these, they were probably the size of a dime, um, but nonetheless terrifying. The greenhouse turned out to be a little bit more of a chore to clean out than we thought it was going to be. Sometime around July or August, I think, once the seeds, once the seedlings were all out and, you know, the heat made it too warm to use the greenhouse, at that point we just started kind of piling things in there. And it wasn't just planters, like, it was a great place to put a couple of bales of hay for the chickens. Um, if I found things that needed holes in them to become really good planters, they wound up in there too. Um, bags of dirt that we had opened ended up in there. Um, I think I even found a bag of dirt that wasn't open, so that was kind of fun. Um, but it was really, really good to get this cleaned out and ready for the plants that are going to be coming into there from the basement really soon. Uh. We did it, we got the greenhouse settled. Um, hopefully next weekend, I'll be planting in that and bringing out some of the stuff that we hardened off so that it gets accustomed to living out here where it's a different temperature. Um, yeah, not bad for an afternoon, huh? Busy afternoon, but productive. It's all clean now, yeah, it looks, you can get it in it. Looks really great back there. <laughs> so, all right. We should go figure out some dinner. Cold beverage. Cold beverage. Cold beverage. Indeedy. Thanks for coming along and hanging out with us while we got this done. We'll catch you up soon. Take care.